Hello friends, welcome to Tabletop Tonight, the special Saturday night edition. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? My name is Ruel Gaviola and this is my co-host, my wife Michelle. Hello. Uh, we usually stream Monday through Thursdays at 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we play board games and other tabletop games, but tonight, well, we, weren't gonna, we are going to play a game, but it's a little later in the stream. We decided, hey, we just got this, uh, the new box from Universal Yums. It's a monthly subscription um, snack box. Yeah. Uh, that you got, uh, you've been a member for a couple of months now, right? maybe like three or four months wait when did school start for me because it was one of my students that introduced me to universal yum so august uh, august so probably september since september nice so october november december i don't know i don't know <laughs> time, what month it is time has no meaning of course in 2020 um so universal yums they have um a box of snacks that they send to you each month and each one's from a different country so last month we sampled the Italian, was it? Or was that the was it Russian? Italian? No, it was Italian. Italian. I remember Mona Lisa had chocolate on her face. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so we did uh, Italy last month and Russia the previous month. And what were the other countries? There was Colombia. Uh -huh. Wait, okay. So wait, September, October, November, and this is December. So there were only three. Okay. So it was Colombia, Russia, and Italy. Nice. And so there's a, and it's sweet and savory, right? And yeah. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it's a really cool um, subscription uh, service that um, you know comes in once a month. We have a lot of fun with it, and we decided we, let's not let's let's do it tonight. Let's share uh, share it with y'all, and uh, so thank you for joining us. It is here on the West Coast Saturday night, seven p.m. Uh, so this is like um, sort of like our date night for uh, yeah. <laughs> Saturday. So. Thank you for hanging out with us. I uh, want to shout out Amanda Panda, uh, John, a.k.a. Book of Nerds, was here, I believe. Uh, Sir Bearsworth. James is in the house. Thank you, James. Twin Flower is here. Hi, Twin Flower. Um, who else we got here? Sir Bearsworth, I said. Uh, Rainbow Finch, thank you. Of course, Board Game Feast is here. We were just saying, like, Board Game Feast has to be here <laughs> with a name like that. Like, that's, like, the perfect name here. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, heavy Eye, yay! Geraldine and Mike are here. Hi, friends. Maybe it's been a while. Uh, but I love that you both have gaming chairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, it has been a while. So I've had the gaming chair for a little longer than Michelle. Michelle just got hers. It was know, the last couple of weeks or so. Yeah. Because I didn't know I needed one until the distance learning thing. <laughs> yeah. And my favorite, like, office chair was, I mean, it's old, but it was my favorite. And it just was killing my back. Yeah. So Ruel suggested I get a, a gaming chair. I, was, I didn't know I needed this, and I didn't know I needed another bigger monitor. So, yeah. Until I had it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a lot more comfortable now, thankfully. Oh, for, for sure. Yeah. yeah, I can sit crisscross applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see. Rainbow Finch, we said hi to. Uh, ben, we'll see you. Hi, Ben. Uh, well, maybe also have other date nights, too. Yeah, we also have other date nights as well. But, yeah, it's... A lot of our date nights are obviously just going out to eat, so that's, <laughs> that's what we do best. That's what we do best. So it's been pretty much shut down because of the uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. Game Jedi, hi! Thanks for joining us. We'd like to sample, so we're gi we giving you our mailing address. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, yeah, yeah. I like that. that good, nice try, Game Jedi. That's very nice. Uh, Twin Fire is just lurking. All good. Thank you for the, lur the lurk. Uh, Borgie and Peace says, I sense there were snacks. Yes, so folks, again, uh, our, on our normal streams on Monday through Thursday, we do have a stream snack section at the uh, start <laughs> of the uh, stream. So this is pretty much all stream snacks all night tonight, and then we'll have a game at the end. If you haven't already, please, I'm going to see if I can do this right. Um, I hit the command cartographers. I'm slowly but surely learning. Yes, there it is. So you can print out a map sheet and play cartographers with us later. Uh, at the end of, uh, after we're done snacking and stuff, we're gonna play cartographers. You can easily play this at home. There's also, there are two versions. There are a printable version, and you can just do use the digital one as well. Uh, Seth Raccoon, <laughs> you have date nights without all of us in chat. <laughs> From, no, absolutely not. From now on, all our date nights are with you. <laughs> you all find folks. And yes, Amanda, you, you need a gaming chair. Yes. I, I'm telling you, I did not know I needed one yeah. until I got one. And then I sat in it and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Posh is in the house. Thanks for joining us, Tom. Uh, you have to do the panda boogie in the gaming chair. That would yeah, be great. there's enough room. <laughs> and, you know, you can put the, the armrests up and down. I, I like to put them up just, uh, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Sir Bears. <laughs> uh, we get to go join date night. I need to dress nicer. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, obviously, I mean, I've got my Catan, Catan shirt, and Michelle's got her uh, Omni Gamer shirt. So, yeah, it's a, a casual date night tonight, friends. So, <laughs> let us let us know what you're having uh, for snacks, folks, and we're gonna just uh, start sharing our Universal Yums uh, snacks. And Michelle and I are gonna try each one tonight, and we're gonna rank them as well. We're gonna see how they taste, and um, we'll give you our notes <laughs> and so forth. <laughs> ben. <laughs> That's formal right there. <laughs> Can we get a, a round of applause for Ben? Oh, thing, Ben, yes. These are for your pants, sir. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> oh, folks, if you're wearing pants, kudos to you, you know. Oh, that woke up Bruno. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Bruno's, our, our pug is uh, sleeping down here. Hopefully he'll make an appearance later, probably when we open the snacks. Uh, board game feast, no snacks yet. Just had stir fry for dinner. Yum. That sounds good. Uh, Steph, I think this dress code is a gamer casual. Yes, true, too. Uh, I'm in bed. I don't need to add any more information. Okay, Tom, thank right, you. TMI, yes, TMI. Yeah, TMI. <laughs> thank you, thank you, my friend. Uh, so let's jump right into it. I'm going to. We're going to try this new thing. Here. Well, actually, no. We'll do this first. Whoop. Uh, so this is cartographer for later. Uh, this is the Universal Yums box, and oh, that's um, like way over here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of short. <laughs> okay, so so let's open it up. Okay. Game Jenner's got Coke Zero, yum. So, this is stuff from around the world. So, this is different for the holidays. Instead of one particular country, they're going all around the world. Okay, so what is... Oh, here's the little scoreboard. Okay. So, the scoreboard, is this... Oh, yeah, I do have it. So, we're going to keep track of the yum scoreboard. So is it going to be yum or is it going to be yuck? We will let you know. <laughs> uh, there, In this box, there are seven snacks, and Michelle and I will write our names down and um, how we like each snack. Okay, so it says seasoned greetings from everywhere. Mm -hmm. So is that for your tasting notes? It please? is, yes. Okay. So um, this is the holiday edition, I believe. It's uh, yeah. That's why we decided to play Cartographers, because Cartographers is about making a map. And we figured, hey, we're going all around the world. It's like making a food map, I guess. So, um, oh, funny. It says here, make longevity noodles, a Lunar New Year staple in Taiwan. Every New Year we eat them. Yeah, is, you know, it's noodles. So yeah. I don't know. What do you? We, we always. I think it's a very Asian culture thing where it's uh, long noodles for long life, right? You start. You eat it either on your birthday and or on New Year's. Um, so this little booklet, you want to talk about what the booklet is every month? Um, yeah, so it gives you, um, you know, some cute little things, mm -hmm. information about um, the different um, places. Mm -hmm. um, and then it gives you um, a little bit of information on each one of the um, foods that are in your box. So you know what you're eating. Because there was something, like, I think it was in the Russian box, like, it, none of it was like in our our alphabet, so I'm, like, oh. I'm not sure what I'm eating. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah, having the notes was nice because it's all in yeah. English. Yeah. Uh, so. Twin Fire says, so, "Excuse me for just a second, but uh, Twin Fire says, wish I had a Gudetama emote. Looks like I'd get some use of it out of it tonight." Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we have got um, it says Christmas cookie corner. So sugar and anise polvoron. Okay. Okay, and then we have, what is this? Roast turkey and stuffing potato chips. Crisps. Crisps. Oh, not so, chips. So we, I know we have some friends for, uh, in the UK from the UK with us, so we could we could just jump right into it. You want to? Okay. Yeah, and then we'll like open one and maybe read a, about it. So. Okay. What's this? This is popcorn. It's salted egg yolk. Oh, here I'll. Toss okay. It here. Thank you. I don't like like mooncakes that have the the egg in it. Oh yeah, I'm not That's really a big fan of that either. I don't know. Let's see how this tastes. So this is a uh, pop popcorn salted egg yolk. Um, I'm yeah. I'm a sucker for these type of things. It's a little duck on there. I, I'm such a sucker for the marketing, right? It's super cute. It's okay. Okay, it looks cute. Of course, I would buy this at the store. Um, <laughs> Panda says, I love salted egg yolk flavor. Nice. Never really heard of Mackey's of Scotland. We need a Christmas cooking board game. Hey, yeah, I agree. But the heroic right? logic, totally agree. Hi, Michelle Ridge. Thanks for joining us. Nom, nom, nom. Let's open. Okay, so Michelle's going to open the... The popcorn. Popcorn. Salted egg yolk popcorn. This is from Taiwan. 
according to our little booklet here from Universal Yums, this is Taiwan's most excellent <laughs> holiday tradition. Wow. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Um, who was Amanda that asked, where is this from? This is from all over the world. It's their Christmas edition. Mm -hmm. This is quite salty for my taste. Definitely salty. I'll give you a close up. Here's what this, it almost looks like kettle corn. It's got that kettle corn look to it. But it doesn't taste like kettle no. corn. There it is, folks. Um, I don't see. think I'm a fan. Not a fan, huh? No, okay. it's too salty. Let me try one more. Wait, let me have our, our little thingy. Yep. Okay, so. Hmm. And it does give you the um, the nutritional value. Oh, yeah. So I'm sure that's like filled with sodium. I can taste it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll put Ruel here, Michelle here. Okay. Panda says it should have a more orange color, not real egg yolks flavor then. Yeah, I don't, I don't find the the egg yolk flavor that, that strong. Oops. It's not that problem. I get more, um, it's definitely a bit on the salty side. What? And oh. what do you think? Can I show the yeah. thing real quick? So here's the rating scale that we have, folks. Um, uh-oh. Did I not turn on the camera? I did not. So we have three, um, we're going to judge it based on these three, three criteria. Uh, happy face, delicious, excellent, just wow. Uh, straight line, okay. Sad face, I did not need this in my life. <laughs> That's funny. Um, you've only had one so far, I noticed. I've had a couple. Yeah. So I think I know where this is going. Um, would you like to try one more just in case? No. Okay, so I think I know what Michelle's doing. I'm going to go. So are we delicious, okay, or I did, well, yours is not, I did not need this in my life. Yeah. See, if you were here, we could share this with you. Yeah. I don't know. You're going to be like in the middle? I feel like I'm in the middle of, what is it, okay, or delicious, excellent, just wow. Okay, so you're in between? Yeah. Okay, I'll just put like both of them. Okay. I think it's good, not great. To me, it's not, it's salty, but it doesn't have a really strong egg yolk flavor to it. So, Geraldine says, is it similar to Filipino salted egg? I love salted egg tomatoes and rice, but Mike does not. Yeah. So, never have it. I don't I don't know what Filipino salted egg tastes like. Oh, I never had that? No. Yeah. And it, it's, it is good with um, rice, tomatoes, like a, almost like a side to like what you're eating. Um, like scrambled egg? No. It's like a hard-boiled egg. Oh. But salted. Um, yeah, Geraldine, I would say this, it doesn't, this is... Oh, to me, it's more popcorny. It's purple, she said. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a fan. Okay, I'm sort of a fan, so I think it's okay. All right. So we'll, we'll save that for later. Okay. Uh, let's, folks. Thank you again for joining us. Let's all cleanse our palate, shall oh, we? Oh yes. Cleanse it because it's salty. <laughs> so salty. Okay. So we're going to try Mackey's of Scotland Turkey and Stuffing. Okay, so let's get this. Oh, I guess I should say flavor. <laughs> it's not actual turkey and stuffing in a bag. <laughs> yeah, turkey and stuffing flavored. And then get it on the big screen here. Mackey's of Scotland. Okay, We've got a little bird there. So this is like, like almost like traditional style. Um... Ben says he... <laughs> Well, Ben says I'm very quick to want to cleanse my palate. <laughs> I kind of want to brush my teeth. <laughs> I have two bags of Urban's uh, salted egg chips at home that I have. Oh, nice. Please give reviews after this if you're Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Gordon Ramsay, to be honest. <laughs> He's not nice. <laughs> Michelle Ridge, no color, no flavor. That's pretty, yeah, that's a pretty good, um, pretty good assessment. Uh, turkey stuffing crisps are tasty. Closest thing you can find to chicken flavor here. Now, our friend Patrick, um, our local game buddy, he also gets Universal Yums. He raved about these, actually. So I'm going to see if uh, we're there. Thank you again, friends, for the hydration um, reminders. Thank you, James and Board Game Feast. 
Uh, Michelle looks like she's trying the turkey and stuffing crisp. I better. I could taste um, rosemary. What's it like? Okay. I'm gonna do it like wine. <laughs> mm, the bouquet <laughs> of this bag is not too bad. Okay. It does have a little turkey style uh, scent to it. Yeah, you can taste the rosemary. Mm. Polly Dummies in the house. Hi, Paula. Need to brush my teeth should be a category to rate the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add that on here. <laughs> okay. It's got the mouthfeel is... The chips are almost like, or the crisps are almost like, um, how do you describe it? You know, like when you get baked potato chips, right? I was going right? to say baked lays. Thank you. It's more, the, the texture is like baked lays. So, I don't know, and I know in the, the UK they're called crisps, and then we call them potato chips out mm -hmm. here, because chips aren't there, are fries. French fries. And fries aren't here, are fries. Um, I don't know. I think you like this more than I do. Yeah. So there's your Thanksgiving in a bag. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> it is like, it really is like Thanksgiving in a bag. I'll, I'll give you that. There, so you taste the rosemary? I don't really know if yeah. I get the rosemary out of there. How often does this box delivery go on there? Um, you know, once a month around the 15th, so around the middle of the month. Um, and this is the, the small box. So I figured I'd try it and see if I like it, you know. Because I, I don't like to spend frivolously, but I think this is well worth it. I think I mean, so, too. You know, because we like to eat. So. <laughs> yeah, we like to eat. So they do have, I think it's three different sizes. This is the small one, which mm -hmm. has, I think, six, six, yeah. six snacks. And then the medium is like a dozen snacks. Yeah, something like that. Okay. I don't know. Because I, I figured, it, you know, the more snacks we get. Because I, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, these all have preservatives in it. <laughs> Probably nothing healthy. <laughs> I love Michelle Richard's comments. Do y'all get promo codes to share with friends? Here, and then this is how we're gonna share. Yeah, sorry, virtual <laughs> sharing only friends. And she was asking about asking for a friend. <laughs> we'll oh, send cool. it to you. We'll just you know tape it up. <laughs> we'll, we'll forward the box to you. <laughs> Board Game Feast says I just signed up to for a tea subscription box. Ooh, Very nice. That's so cool. Oh no, promo code. No, just leftover. <laughs> Tom says, really, turkey experts can tell what side of the slope the turkey grew up on. Really? Wow, wait. Is that true? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm well, happy. you know, we had gone to this Yelpy Lead event at this um, Spanish restaurant, and there was this, like, I don't know, what do you call it? Like, this ham? Oh, this yeah, yeah. thing of ham. Uh, jamon. Jamon, yeah. Iber well, Iberian ham. Mm -hmm. And... I, I seriously did not know that that's the thing that we would be tasting because they had like the spotlight on it. You know, like the angels were singing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and um, the, there was this chef there and I guess you have to be like trained to cut this ham yeah. because this ham, the pigs from that Iberia, is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, they are raised a specific way. They're only fed a specific type of food, <clears throat> and then their their meat is um, like cured for I don't know, like five years or something. Yeah, some crazy amount of time. And then he would cut it really thinly, like carpaccio. <laughs> so good. <laughs> the greatest like pork flavor I've ever had. Like one, actually, I should say one because I'm a huge fan of lechon, Filipino lechon. But that jamon from that event was amazing. It yeah. was just super thin, just very flavorful. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, so man, now I'm really hungry for pork. Um. I don't know. Yeah, the turkey soup. soup <laughs> yeah. For dinner. We had soup for dinner and <laughs> soup and sandwich. Um. Specific bread of uh. Pig. Breed of pig. Oh, breed. Yeah. 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 Love jamon. Um. So all that just reminded me because of the comment about, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they could tell where the turkey was raised. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm going to give this one just a flat line. I think it's okay. just okay. It's I. It's I. <laughs> you like we it. We need to change that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not like, I don't buy chips 
often, so when I have chips, it's terrible. <laughs> like his brother. So the thing, you know, in the before times when we would get together, um, his brother, his brother's thing was to bring chips to each party, but like, you know, bags of chips. So, you know, I don't buy chips when we go to the store. So when, you know, we get together for you know, with the family, I was like, oh my gosh, the chips! <laughs> They're so good! She's just like totally killing the chips. <laughs> uh, Michelle Rich says, flatline, LOL, death. <laughs> uh, Tom says, most flavor crisps always taste Me. a bit more artificial than other flavors. Yeah, I think that's, um, I mean, this definitely has that turkey and stuffing flavor to it. Yeah. And just like the other, the salted egg yolk, it, neither of these like were overpowering flavors, so they're not too bad. Either of them, I again, both these I like, I didn't love, but I think I preferred the popcorn up until this point. Okay. Okay. So, do you have anything that you would like to try in particular? Um, I think we're down to all the sweets now. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a lot this time. Oh. oh. Cocoa powder truffles. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then we have this. Mocktail bonbons. Ooh, you know mocktail. I saw, oh, Bruno. Hey. <laughs> uh, Steph says a Spanish friend once walked out of a UK restaurant before we were seated because they were cutting the hamon so badly. <gasps> it's a serious business. Yeah. yeah. And I remember the chef at um, who served us, he was talking about, I mean, they literally get trained just to cut this a certain way and yeah, the way he did it was magic. It was, I mean, it was like paper thin, like as thin as this. Uh, probably know. even thinner. Yeah, it was it's almost like, like translucent, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it was so good. And, you know, I guess that's, I, I didn't know this was a big deal when we had gone there. That's why, you know, the, the light was shining oh, yeah. upon the ham. Yeah. I, was, I seriously did not know. <laughs> I thought this was just, you know, part of like an eclectic decoration. Yeah, yeah. I thought, oh, oh that's what we're going to eat. <laughs> it's like, yes, special pig. Uh, I'll try this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we are, what are we going to try next? Okay, so this is Kui Noten. Okay, Kui Noten. Uh, so. It's apparently original flavor. So this is the Netherlands number one spice cookie, bite-sized. Okay, so we've gone from the UK to Taiwan, back to the Netherlands. Okay. Oh, oh so that's they're, a bomb right there. Mm. It's like little, almost look like ginger, ginger snaps. Yeah. Right? Looks yeah. like ginger snaps. Not a bad bouquet. Actually, it reminds me a lot of ginger snaps. Okay, so delicious, excellent, just wow. And it's a ginger snap, folks. <laughs> Bruno stepping on, on one of the gifts. Hey, are you going to open that? Don't it's open ginger that. snap, but not, not as sweet as one that we would get here. Not as snappy. Not as snappy either. It's like a, you remember that cereal cookie crisp? <laughs> it's the size of a cookie crisp. But it tastes much better. So yeah. That's the only thing I'm getting seconds of so far. Mm -hmm. So let's do this view. Whoop, no, that's fine. Yeah, Michelle, I agree. Uh, Michelle Ridge says, I really like ginger that bites. And like, this mm has -hmm. definitely got the edge taken off it. So I prefer something with a little more ginger bite as well. But this is so far, out of the three things we tried, this is my favorite. I, I do like this. Yeah. Okay, so you are delicious, excellent, just well? Um, or are you just okay? I'm going to give this one a smiley face. Okay. So that is, what is it? Delicious, excellent, just wow. Mm -hmm. I will give this a smiley face. Okay. What about you? Oh, man. Yeah, definitely smiley face. Okay. Those are good. Yeah. I like them. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's just catch up on chat here. Um... James is a tea snob. Nice. Michelle, okay. James says that Michelle's a food snob. <laughs> <laughs> mm. okay. Mary will fit, Rainbow Finch also likes a ginger with a little snap. Yeah, I, I prefer the one with the snap as well. But that wasn't too bad. Uh, let's cleanse the palate. <laughs> I think I want to thank everyone for joining us on a Saturday night here. Um, so this is, just the back of the book real quick, the Yum Shop. So the, this has um, just a little breakdown of the some of the best flavors uh, people enjoy during the year from the different boxes. So best of Italy and so forth. <laughs> the y'all cleanse in your palate. Please. Oh, just water, Michelle. Just water. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing as cool as hard liquor. So hard. speaking of hard liquor, though, I think... 
if we do um, a stream New Year's Eve, which mm -hmm. we've talked about doing, we may do one New Year's Eve. I've got a bottle that I have not opened yet of uh, Blue Label, so I, I think I want to just to stream that because I'm really looking forward to cracking open this Blue Label. Um, but I need to get a, a nice glass. You know, I don't I, I don't have anything that nice for that. Uh, well, you don't want to use this. Oh, actually, we, I do have a nice enough glass, as you Michelle's know. pointed out. I could uh, pour the blue label in this, in this monstrosity. <laughs> <laughs> if I put blue label in this, just knock me over the head with this thing. Cause that, I don't know, that's just a, such a shame. But yeah, there. Uh, yeah, Paula and De Paula Demings agrees. Yeah, nothing but class here in this uh, in this household, folks. Nothing like. <laughs> but, Chewbacca. Yeah, no, 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 no the Ewok. <laughs> Uh, Ewok full of uh, whiskey is nothing but class. <laughs> Chug it. <laughs> Give me a straw. <laughs> uh, yeah, Michelle, it's totally, like Michelle Ridge just pointed out, it, I don't know how they came up with this thing. There's no way you can drink out of it, because, uh, can you get it back? Yeah. Sorry. I'm telling you, I don't think this was supposed to be yeah. a mug. Because, I mean, look, it's got the ears right here, so if you... When you're drinking out, it's gonna like smash my eye. You know, if I wasn't wearing glasses, I'd you know I'd lose one eye. You know, I'd be a pirate. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this it's it's not even like it doesn't have a big enough thing for to be a soup mug. You know, it's big enough to be a soup mug, but the opening like you put your spoon here, you get stuck. You know, um, I think that it was supposed to be for a plant. It could be a planter, yeah. But the thing is, well, it says hand wash only, not a toy. Okay. Well, we know it's not a toy. We know hand wash only. So, <laughs> if y'all know what's used for, let us know. It, I mean, it looks like a mug, right? But it's definitely not. This is to put your writing utensils in. Yeah, pretty much. Um, what do you do with it? I know, right? I'm pretty sure this was a white elephant gift. Yeah, yeah. I know I got it as a white elephant gift, but no one is like claiming that they gave it to me. So I don't know. At <laughs> least in our family, you know, wants a claim. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, Game Jedi says get a Chewbacca straw. That'd be that'd be good. Oh, that would be funny. Yeah, this <laughs> that Ewok looks drunk already. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> That's where you hide the evidence. <laughs> Not yet again says a Chia Ewok. Nice. Yeah, I'm starting to growing a little thing there. Uh, yeah, I'll take my whiskey neat. Can you? Put it? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Paula. I'm going to the bar. I'm gonna say I want my whiskey neat. Put it in this thing. Comment. Uh, down here, Ben says, says. At least it didn't say decoration purposes only, not food safe. <laughs> yeah, totally. Just slam that right up on the right. Yeah, I could totally see me going to the bar. You know, boom, pour my beer in this, and <laughs> probably spitting it too. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so hopefully on New Year's Eve, that's I want to crack open that. I'm, I've been really dying to try that. Uh, blue. I've had Blue Label before, but um, this was gifted to me earlier this year for my birthday. I mean, it's, it's, gosh, it seems so long ago, but, yeah. Oh, Michelle uh, says they have a Star Wars bar up in the Oh, Bay yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, you know what, that's, they do have the one here in L.A., Scum and Villainy. I could totally bring that there. I mean, when we can go to bars again, you know, well, safely. I don't know if they're open, like, I don't know if they have, like, a patio. Here, I'll like, take it to go. Thank yeah, you very much. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> just pour it in here. Pour that, pour that blue milk in this thing. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get to another snack, shall we? This is an Alpine nut cake. Okay, Alpine so, Nut Cake. Switzerland. Okay. okay, it says crumbly nutty pie straight from the Swiss Alps. Okay. So it does look like a little pie. Okay, so there's only one. Okay, so we're sharing. I'm like narrating. Yeah, we're sharing. There's almost like a pecan pie. Really? Mm -hmm. I love pecan pie. Well, I mean, it's not that taste, but... Okay, so here's um, one bite taken out of it. There's kind of got that consistency okay so here it is here folks uh i'll try it next that would be good with tea bruno he's licking the the macaroni bruno <laughs> huh hey little dog okay you know what this reminds me of the outside the consistency is almost like a fig newton yeah yeah so like a fig newton that like style of um cookie and the filling you get a closer look at it michelle got it right it's sort of like a pecan pie but not as good i don't know it's not as um pecan -y. yeah not as sweet 
One thing I noticed, like, American snacks and candies are super sweet compared oh my to... God, yeah. Right? Compared to where, like, I know, like, with the Philippines and... Um, Japan. Japan, like, they're not as sweet as American. Now, I don't know about uh, the UK and Europe. Are they sweeter or as sweet as American snacks? Uh, Panna, have a great... Uh... Oh, thanks for lurking, uh, Tom. Um, oh, yeah, there... And says, Kim confirm U.S. sweets are sweet. Sweet, yeah. Yeah, why is there so much space in there, right, Michelle? It, it's like, there's a lot of air there. So, apparently, they're making a lot of money because they're selling their customers <laughs> air. Keep the low, <laughs> overhead low. I don't know. What, what do you think about this? How, how do you like I it? I like it. Really? I, I'm, I'm in between that whole like and love thing. Well, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't love it. I mean, I don't need it in my life, but, yeah. you know, if I had a cup of tea, I, I think I would okay. eat the whole thing. Great point. I agree. This is something to accompany, like, a, a good tea <laughs> or a coffee. I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> I felt I was going to have a heart attack from the sugar from my first normal <laughs> bottle of Coke here. Yeah. Totally. Rainbow. Yeah, you always put so much sugar in stuff. And it's like not the good sugar, right? Like, I'd rather have a Mexican Coke than the U.S. Coke. Because they use, like, the real sugar or whatever. Okay. So, where I don't know. Um, sorry. What was that one? Did I rank that one? Oh, no. I was just ready to open the next snack. Yeah. What'd you rank it? Um, between. in between, you know, delicious and okay. I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, I, I feel like this one has an asterisk. Like, I think it's like okay, but asterisk. If I had a cup of tea or coffee, it would probably be a happy face. So okay. I will do the same ranking as you, sort of the okay. in between. Yeah, board game feats. Yeah, it's all corn syrup in the U.S. Yeah. Mexican coats are better, but still pretty sweet. Agreed. Okay. So... Would you like to go to France or Spain? Okay, let's leave it up to chat. Friends, uh, should we go to France or Spain for our next snack? Uh, we have the French taste and the torta. Okay, Paula says Spain. Okay, Paula says Spain. We listen to Paula. It's uh, a good way to live your life. <laughs> um, Game Jedi 84 agrees. Agrees. Spain. All right, yes. Everyone agrees with Paula. Uh, so this is torta... Polvoron. Polvoron. I don't know if this is the same as like Filipino polvoron, which I love. Yeah, that's Michelle's jam right This there. is more like a cookie. And this says, uh, this is in the Christmas cookie corner part of the book. Sugar and anise polvoron, Spain's favorite Spanish, or Christmas cookie. Ooh. Okay. You can smell the anise. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. Yeah, you smell it. Oh, yeah. It's like licorice. Oh, yeah. I'm all about that. Which is funny. Do you like licorice? Like, yes. Okay, I don't like black ric licorice, but I do love it in in foods for some reason. I don't know what it is. Ah. Uh, really? I like those. Want me to uh, cleanse the palate? Oh, there. I didn't cleanse. Oh, well. This is really good. Yeah, definitely smell that anise. Okay, so I need, I need this in my life. Okay, so this has got the... We all can see this. It's got like a little, oh, there goes on the table. Um, almost like a, a dusting on it. Whoa, there's a little. Oh, yeah. yeah I really like that so one. So far, that's the winner by far. Yeah. Mm. And that would also go well with like tea or coffee. And it's got that pulled on, um, you know how it can be sort of like. How, what is that mouth feel? Like sandy? Grainy, sandy. Grainy, grainy or sandy? Yeah. But the anise comes out really strong in this, which I like. Gritty, yes. Gritty, thank you, Michelle. yes. Uh, Michelle is our um, thesaurus. <laughs> um, I like it. Okay. Yeah, me too. And what's funny is like I don't really like licorice, but give me it in like any other form, except the, you know, the black licorice cans. I'm not a fan of that, but I can eat things like this. I love black licorice. Yeah. You know, one of the people that I work with, you know, in the before times, he would bring, um, half of that, right? yeah, he would bring um, licorice from Pier 1, and he's a British man, um, and like me and Cheers, the friends. other two teachers, I swear we're like the only ones on the planet that like black licorice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gladly ate it. 
so far that's the winner. Good choice, mm -hmm. Paula. Well done. Rainbow mm. Finch, too. Yay! No. Do you also like candy corn, Rainbow Finch? <laughs> candy corn, no hair. Staff Raccoon was black licorice. Nice. <laughs> Paula Demi gets all the credit, of course. Uh, I'm right. <laughs> send over any black or nice. Michelle Ridge says that's different, different than Filipino. Yeah. Yeah, this is more like a cookie. It yeah. actually says it's a shortbread uh, with powdered sugar topping. Yeah, this is more a uh, cookie style, Michelle, rather than. <laughs> look, I have got a pulver on head. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't know how to describe the Filipino pulver on. Mm -hmm. Um. Like I feel I it's know. like it's flakier than this. Yeah, it's not a cookie. Yeah, it's not it's not a cookie. It like break it crumbles apart a lot easier than yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So oh no, candy corn. That's okay. I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> we got two more folks. Um, okay. Should we go France? What's the, oh we'll, we'll save the should we those cocktails. <laughs> the, the mocktails we'll save for last, of course. Okay, so these are cocoa powdered truffles. Oh, I don't think we can go wrong here. Oh, should I just put my happy face on here now? Oh, did I put a happy face on that last one? Well, I put it for you. Okay, thanks. They look like truffles. Okay, here we go, folks. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Candy corn is the literal <laughs> truffles of the devil. <laughs> you are what you eat. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't have any candy corn this this Halloween. Okay, this is definitely oh, you're, um, truffle ish. They are legit truffles. Oh my gosh, these are good. They're truffles, folks. See, Paula's my people. She loves candy corn. Yes, Paula. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. I'm not sure about that whole candy corn thing. Although, I would take these truffles any day over. <laughs> now this is actually bordering on too sweet for me, but that's what truffles are, right? Truffles yeah. are very intense, yeah, chocolatey flavor. But compared to other truffles I have, this this is this is good. It's great. Okay. Yeah. Oh oh. Any napkins? Um. I got one over here. No. Okay. All right, we're gonna okay. get truffles all over our cartographer's card soon. Uh, let's enjoy the chocolate for me. I'm like, oh no, bummer. Mm. First candy corn I had, my mouth refused to recognize it. <laughs> <laughs> it <did not> <laughs> That's because you need to eat it by layer. <laughs> this is the proper way to eat candy corn. <laughs> Paula says, once we are all vaccinated, we got to have a game and snacks night together. Clearly, yes. absolutely, yes. 100, yes, 100. That, that's a great idea. Earlier, I had proposed a 100% <laughs> agree. A potluck. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, For my gosh. Sure. Those are good. I'm so, glad these are small packages because if it was going to be there, I'd eat the whole thing. You see? Paula agrees. Layers. Yes. And you have to start with the, the white layer first and then go with the middle one and then... Oh, the, the candy corn? Is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> someone had said... I think it was... Uh, someone said... <laughs> Or is that no to candy corn, no to black liquors, and no to peeps? Now you don't like peeps. Oh, either. oh yeah. no, peeps. I I, I don't <laughs> like so peeps gross. either. I might. I think I would rather eat a peep than a candy corn. No, nah, they're both. They're not really. <laughs> and I probably you know I would eat black liquors first, and then probably candy corn, then a peep. I think those are my rankings for candies that I'm not really. Oh, peeps are just. Oh. Yeah. Oh, peep or giant. Yeah, peeps are yeah, giant. Yes. Anyone like peeps? I mean, uh, let's see. My best friend likes them. Okay, I admit they're this disgusting. is weird, but I really like peeps, but only once they're gone stale. <laughs> really? Oh. Stale well, peeps. But you know what? They're it, it kind of like when they're stale like that. They kind of have like this little like crunch <laughs> to them. Do you like stale side. peeps? No, oh, but okay. you know when I was a kid and I would eat all the sugar. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> years ago, my doctor told me I need to watch my sugar, and I was like, "Oh, I, <laughs> I can't eat all the candy <laughs> in this bag because I really used to like those cookies, the soft ones that come in like dozens, and it has like the thick layer of frosting on it. And oh, you know, they gosh. have them for like for every holiday. And, yeah. Just sit there and just keep eating it, <laughs> and then and then I found out I, I shouldn't eat all of them. Yeah, 
Uh, Steph Raccoon says, I want to make star anise flavored cookies or shortbread. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to give it up. That was really good. I, I really enjoyed that. Pana says, I like peeps, but only like two a month. <laughs> yeah. That, that's that's fair. Uh, the kitchen is just like... <laughs> I love that Ben is <laughs> talking in chat. Yeah, the kitchen right over there. <laughs> so funny story. Michelle and I, uh, months ago, when we were deep... We just... The pandemic had just hit... We we're stuck, you know. Everyone, like everyone else, was stuck at home. There was an '80s cover band. I forget the name of the band, but they were live on Facebook, right? And they were like taking requests, and you know, you donate money. It's like a gig. And Michelle and I, we we're both in the room, like texting each other, but we we're in their chat. So it's like, hey, Michelle, do you want Boba? <laughs> Michelle's like, yeah, <laughs> she would. Tell, yeah, I'll take that. And then Lauren was in the other room, like, hey, Lauren, can you get Boba for us? <laughs> it was so annoying in their chat. We want to apologize to them, but hey, you know, we did tip them a couple of bucks, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, we we just I don't know. Uh, we have Rainbow Finch is uh, asking for some stretching, so oh, let's oh, stretch. You know, I do need to stretch. I I worked out today, and there were all these things like these side plank things where you had to hold your weight and and then do the other side. So my arms are very sore right now. <laughs> <laughs> so stretch them out. Thank you for spending the stretch points, folks. We have our final goodie from Universal Yums. These are the mocktails. Oh, Mocktail wait. bonbons. Hold up, hold up. I have not completed your thing. Oh, I'm shoot. Okay. The pulled their own. Uh, definitely a happy face. That's my happy favorite so face. far. Happy yeah. face, okay. And uh -oh. then oh, um, truffles. Uh, truffles. What is this thing? Oh, okay. Uh, truffles, happy face. Happy face, okay. Okay. So last one. Last one, the mocktail bonbons. Uh, so, these are the Cosmopolitan uh, Gin and Rhubarb, a Peach Bellini, or Prosecco, 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 and a Tequila Sunrise. Okay. Um, apparently, they don't have a flavor for hangover. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I would ever drink any of these in real... Like, when I was, when I was a drinker back in my younger days... I was more, well, let me see. I was a beer drinker, and I also liked um, whiskey, then later scotch, and then um, I was a, for I went through a martini phase, but never anything too, like, flavory like this. But, hey, I'm down to try it, for mm -hmm. sure. Did you, have you ever had the, I know you, you've had, like, Cosmopolitan before, right? Or I don't know. No? Okay. What was your drink, like, when we were dating, you were all about those um, Midori... Midori Sour. Midori, she was all Midori. Or Amaretto Sour. Amaretto Sour. Yeah, that was your jam. What was I drinking back then? I had like, um, I know it wasn't I don't just know. beers. Yeah. Oh, look. They're like little powdered candies. Oh, Borgia uh Prosecco. Prosecco is like the only wine we drink. Okay. Do love the occasional cocktail night. Oh, yeah, I'm a lover. Is it Prosecco? 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 Oh, I've always said it. I thought the double C was like a ch. Uh, mocktails, I could have them. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, these look. These are the little bonbon candies, right? The different uh, mocktail flavors. Did you have one already? No. Okay. So yeah, you can the fragrant. It's very fragrant. Oh yeah. Right. It's like jelly beans. Okay, I don't know what flavor this one is. Yeah, super fragrant, folks. Ooh, I like this. So can you tell which one you have? Oh wait, there's the little shapes. So they have the shapes that right was next the to it. Oh, <laughs> they all look the same. Okay. Oh no. I don't know. I think I think mine was like this because it was two colors. Okay. And what flavor would that be? Tequila Sunrise. Sure. It's almost like um. Jelly bean. Jelly, like a harder jelly bean? Mm hmm Like a gumdrop, sort of? Yeah. Sort of like a gumdrop, but not as gooey. I think I've seen these at, like, what's that wine place over there? Or the place that sells all the alcohol? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Total Wine? Yeah. You know, they're like impulse items. Totally. <laughs> at the checkout. And I've never bought them. That's good. Is yeah. there actual alcohol in it? I don't think well, I guess so. not because it's mocktail. Mocktail, yeah. So this is from the UK. I forgot to read the little description here. It says, "Celebrate NYE with the UK's juiciest pub faves." Okay. So apparently these are the juiciest pub faves in the UK. Uh, 
It does say here, parents, there's no alcohol inside. Boo. Um, does it say boo? No. <laughs> that, that was me saying boo worms. It says uh, chew responsibly. Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. I like, I don't love. What do you think? I like them. I, I don't like them as much as the truffles. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Because I'm like, I'm partial to truffles, but, yeah. you know, if I saw those at the, you know, at the checkout stand at mm-hmm. Total Wine, would you, I would buy them. Okay. Would you, okay, here's the thing about this. Is this the type of candy that you would just, like, buy this and, like, just sort of walk around and munch on? No. I feel like it's, it's almost too sweet. Too sweet, right? Okay, that's what I thought. For me, that, that's how I feel too. Although the truffles, I mean, th- those are super sweet too. But I, <laughs> I would punch on those. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, I feel like that had like just a better flavor all around. These, the flavor isn't bad, but which one did you get, or do you think you got? I think I got. Um, it was maybe the tequila sunrise. Because it's got sort of sort of citrusy type thing. Yeah, I think I got the Is same, that the same one. Okay. Do you know which? Okay, so let's try a different one then. If we can try a different one. Well, so, did you eat yours? Yeah, I'll try I this one because this is different. One, I still have it in my mouth. So I'll try this. Oh, you can't really see it because <laughs> it's green. Look, it's right on my face. Um, Looks like a moon. Oh, hey, there's a little. Uh, is this the brand? There's like an H on here. No, 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 that thing started with an H. Is this ecstasy? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bruno. Was that the brand? Or do they all have a thing? And some of them are like half. I thought they were broken. See, look at this one. Yeah. Like half. I think they're just broken. But where's the other half? I don't know. <clears throat> oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. Cold jelly beans. Cold. <laughs> it's a drug stream now. <laughs> <laughs> ben says, do not judge UK snacks by these. Yeah. I mean, they're not bad. I just don't think they're... Hey. They're vegetarian. Okay. It says that right there. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about the chewing part, it actually reminds me of um, Starburst. Yeah. More than a, uh, more than a uh, like jelly jelly, jelly or yeah. a jelly bean or something, so... Well, I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll put this in between the not smiling face and the smiling face. Okay. So between. Okay. So, folks, thanks again for joining us. That is our Universal Yums box. Let's look at the final scores here. <laughs> Just like the game. So, Taster's name, R is for Ruel, M is for Michelle. We started with the chips. I thought it was... Is that the first one, the chips? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we tried in different order. But anyways, uh, Michelle really liked those. I thought they were okay. These, what was it? The um, Poveron was big ups. That was probably my favorite of the batch. Uh, next, Michelle did not like the egg yolk popcorn. I thought it was okay. Uh, not great, but not. It was like super salty. Yeah. Uh, what was it? What's the one after that? Um, that was the mocktails. Oh, mocktails. Yeah, I just thought it was... Michelle liked, I was like in between like and love. We both really liked the, what is that? Is that this Excuse one? me. Oh, the, um, the, the spice cookies. The, the spice cookies, the ginger, ginger cookies. Excuse me. And then number six was the, um, was this one, right? No, that was this one. Oh, yeah. That little the pecan Alpine pie. Alpine nut cake. Alpine nut cake. We both, both agreed on that. It was like, okay. And finally, the bonbon, or I mean the truffles, we both enjoyed. Michelle really enjoys that. Uh, Game Jedi, yeah, no problem. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, ben Osteen says, bonbons are meant to be coated in a sherbet. UK sherbet. Okay, yeah. See, I always thought bonbons were like ice cream. That's, you know, ice creamish and cold. But were we supposed to fill out this thing? Team rating. After you've tried the entire box, decide on your team's favorite, worst, and weirdest. Yum. And write the number of the snack in the bubble below. Take a picture and tag Universal Yums on social media. We'll send you more of your team's favorite yum if you're one of our t- monthly 10 winners. Hey, that's pretty oh. cool. So what was your favorite yum? Oh, that one? Oh. The truffles, probably for you. I mean, I mean, I really liked... 
um, oh, that th that anise thing, the short. Yeah, bread. that was good. That was the um, this one. Mm -hmm. The polvoron, mm, polvoron. Torta polvoron. Okay. I don't know. I really like that. The truffles and the little spice cookies. Okay. Uh, spice cookies, I like too. So, which one would you want to vote for favorite as far as if we enter the contest? Then we get Probably fruity. these, the, okay. the polvoron. Okay, so let's write number. Okay. Numero dos. Ben says, favorite. U.S. bonbons are different too, I think. Oh, okay, usually, yeah, usually chocolate coated, yes. I think someplace also calls some cookies bonbons. Okay, what is the worst yum? The worst yum? Popcorn. Popcorn for you. Oh, I didn't have any sad faces. You only had sad face on the popcorn. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll say popcorn too. It okay. just it was okay, but yeah, nothing right home. And about. the weirdest yum? Hmm. I don't think there were any weird ones. I don't think so either. But if we have to choose one, <laughs> that the, the turkey popcorn. Oh, oh, I was saying. I think weird. the turkey and stuffings. I've never seen turkey and stuffing. You know what? Before. Yeah. There's okay. your Thanksgiving in a bag. Yep. So there's our um, our favorite was the anise uh, shortbread povron. The worst was the salted egg yolk um, popcorn. And the weirdest was the turkey and stuffing crisp. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Um, that was Universal Yums. Uh, if anyone's working for Universal Yums, we will be gladly sponsored by you. <laughs> Let us know what you have any, if you have any stream snacks, folks, uh, let us know what you're eating and or drinking. And we're going to transition here. Uh, whoop. Uh, we're going to be playing Cartographers, a role player tale. Um, I will set it up in just a second. So if you have your sheet, please get it ready or check out the link. I'm going to see if I can do this little cool thing here. I'm learning from Amanda Panda. If I type in exclamation and cartographers, the sheet shows up there. You can print one out or use the digital version. Okay, that goes there. Uh, go here. My arms are very sore. Oh no. What's everyone doing tonight? Anyone, uh, y'all playing games? Anyone playing any games? Uh, these are the ambush Rainbow cards. Rainbow Finch says this is the first time playing this game. Oh, cool. Awesome, Rainbow Finch. This is one of our favorites. I, I really love this one. Let me see if I can get the game here. Yeah. Hey, Michelle got her colored pencils, too. I, I can't color with those little stubby pencils that are not colored. Mm -hmm. um, where's my sheet? There it is here. So this is a roll and write or a flip and fill. fill. We have our maps... We're going to be um, drawing our maps here, trying to get points based on these cards here. On a turn, we're going to play four rounds, uh, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And we're just going to flip over these explore cards. And when they get flipped over, it's going to have a type of terrain and then the shape of the terrain. And that's what you have to draw on your map. So in this case, the fishing village, you would draw a four by one, either village or water. You place it anywhere on your map. It doesn't have to be adjacent or anything. Um, it cannot go over a mountain, and but it can go over a ruin. But you might want to hold off on that just in case. Um, Morgan Feast might play something solo later. Tidal Blades, if I can figure out the rules. Otherwise, Under Falling Skies. Oh, I really want to play that, Under Falling Skies. Have my online D&D session tonight. Oh, cool. Right on, Rainbow. Um, so let me just uh, explain this real quick. So that's the Fishing Village. So you're going to turn that over. You draw it. And you're going to continue drawing. Um, these are the, the timers. So when it gets to eight or more, that's the end of the season. And as the season go, the season gets shorter. This is still eight, but then here is seven, and I think winter is six. Yep. And for this one, when we get to the end of the round, when we've gotten to eight or more, we're going to score in spring A and B. So the scoring changes each uh, season. So we'll be have A and B here, and then for the next one, it'll be B and C, and so forth. Okay. And let's go over the scoring conditions. Um, oh, by the way, if there's an ambush, one of these, we're going to put one of these in here. If this one shows up, we are going to pass each other our score sheets and put the monster on our score sheet. However, those of you join us at home, we're going to look at this box here. And it's gonna you're going to have to draw it on your own, on your own sheet, depending on what this box says. This says here the bottom right corner. You have to start there at the bottom right corner 
if you can draw it as is, you draw it there. If you can't, you just go around in a circle until you can find a spot that's open and draw that. Okay. So the first two scoring options, A and B, let's look at this one. Mage's Valley. Earn two reputation stars for each water space adjacent to a mountain space. Earn one reputation star, reputation stars being victory points, for each farm space adjacent to a mountain space. Okay, so you're looking to just get them next to mountains and you score points um, accordingly. We will also be scoring with, uh, what is it? Wild Holds. Wild Holds. Earn eight uh, reputation points, stars, for each cluster of six or more village spaces. So you get a big village of six or more, you get eight points. Pretty straightforward. Those are the first two we're going to score. Um, then we're going to score B and C in summer and so forth. But well, let's look at the other ones here. <laughs> Sentinel Wood, a little uh, see-through there. Uh, this says, earn one reputation star for each forest space adjacent to the edge of the map. So you put a forest space on the edge of the map here, you get a point. And finally, Borderlands. What this is, earn six stars for each complete row or column of filled spaces. They just need to be filled up. You get six points per row, and then or six points per row, and then six points per column. Tabletops is ready. Tabletops is ready to play some cartographers. Um, Can you hear Bruno snoring? Yeah, Bruno's snoring right now, folks. Can you hear? I don't know if the mic's picking him up. So, um, yeah. Also, there. Uh, if you fill, if you fill the orthogonal spaces, so up, down, and left and right of a mountain, you will earn a coin, and you just fill in your coin here. Those coins are going to be worth points at the end of the round, and then uh, you may also spend them on certain things. I think it's, oh, the expansion. Are we playing? Yeah, we are playing with the expansion. It's just a mini expansion. These are available to everyone at any time for the cost that shows. So we're playing with search. This costs zero. You may do it once per round. During the draw phase, draw an additional one by one square adjacent to the drawn shape. Fill it with the same terrain type. So basically, you get to make your terrain a little Double bigger. Double something. Yep. And then this is one coin so you spend one coin in order to do this negotiate during the draw phase draw a two by two shape instead of the available shapes so mm -hmm. this gives you a little leeway as far as what you can draw on the turn and finally this one is three big coins this is concentrate during the draw phase if an ambush card is not revealed draw the chosen shape a second time and fill it with the same terrain type so that's a good way to get a bunch of uh, things of the same uh, terrain type all at once I'll put these here, and if y'all need me to show them on the close-up, just let me know. Uh, any questions from my playing partner? No. Okay. One thing you should remember, uh, I'll just remember, folks, if there's any, ever a point where you cannot draw a shape, it just can't fit or whatever, you get a free one, uh, one square of any uh, terrain type that you want. Okay. I'm going to call... My city, Brunoville. Oh, yeah. Name your cities. And, oh, let me get an ambush. So this one's going to go here. Shuffle these real quick. Whoops. What's your city called? Brunoville? Brunoville, okay. yes. Okay. Michelle's got Brunoville. Um, I will name mine. Brunoville. Okay. So cartographer, that's uh, me, Ruel. And then uh, my land will be the land of no candy corn. <laughs> you know what? That's what Bruno thinks of your title. Okay? Bruno's story. So let us know what um, your city is called for your folks. Um, the one by one square poor planning. Yes, man. That is the official name. <laughs> Thanks for the Bruno emotes, folks. All good to see. Uh, Michelle said she can hear them. Yeah. Nice. Rainbow Finch says 100% can hear it. Nice. Okay, let's uh, turn over the first card, folks. So we are in the springtime. The first card is the Great River. So it's got to be water, and you may draw these shapes here. It's either one uh, straight line there or that little jagged thing. If you draw the one, you get a coin, which I'm going to do, I believe. Me too. So that has to be water. Yeah. And don't forget the water for Mage's Valley, if it's next to a um, mountain, you get two points per. Oh, my water's purple. I thought it was blue. <laughs> oh, I 
guess that's more blue than this other one. Tabletop is calling theirs Whoville. Nice. <laughs> James says that emo is the only peep I like. Yeah, <laughs> agreed. Thank you, James. Okay. So yeah, Michelle uses uh, colored pencils. I just use the little regular pencils. So that's that. Um, don't forget, if you draw that straight line, you get a coin. Coin. So what do you do? You just circle, circle it? Uh, Scantron style. Just fill it in. Oh. And then when you use it, you just X it out. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's wait here. Mm. Show some love for the... Thanks, Nightbot. That's Amanda. <laughs> or Amanda doing the command. Um, let's move on to the next one. So we have one so far. Plenty of time here in spring. Uh, Forgotten Forest. So uh, what do we have here? The forest, that doesn't come into play until section D. We're Right now, yeah. this we're scoring villages and water and farmland next to a mountain. <laughs> oh, there's another snore from uh, Bruno. So here's Forgotten Forest. Sorry about the green screen. Take this for a coin. Or then do the uh, Tetris style thing there. Hmm. I want that with a coin because. Wait, what is that? Forest? I like to call the forest the lollipops. Because that's how you draw yours? Yeah, that's how I draw my forest. Look like lollipops. And I get a coin because I'm doing there's, that. Oh, there's the card. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. And you do get a coin for that one. Oops. <laughs> ben said, are you sure he made that sound with his mouth? <laughs> well, it doesn't smell, so I think he's, it's okay. What big lungs for a pug. <laughs> oh, he's kind of a husky pug. <laughs> he is a husky pug. Okay, let's move on. The next one is the orchard. It's the Tetris L. It can be a farmland or a... Uh, forest. Okay. Um. Where's the forest? Forest comes to play late. Okay. Okay, so it's an L. Yeah, so I'm gonna, again, they don't have to be adjacent to previous play. You can just place them wherever. But I'm gonna do that L down here. L, L. <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. What up, L? Ruel. Ruel, the ru <laughs> izzle for shizzle. We need a snore emote. Oh, we'll have to talk to Holly about that. <laughs> a little pug with a Z's over his head. He's doing what he does best. <laughs> are you allowed to draw over ruins? Yes, you are. Um, oh, gosh. But when there's a ruins card that's revealed, then you must draw that on the next Explorer card that is revealed. So you sort of want to save your Ruin cards for that time, but you can, you can totally do it anytime you want. Um, so, for game feast. Okay. Um, let me see, during the draw phase, negotiate phase, and then concentrate, Lazy. If there's no ambush, I can draw it a second time. Ooh, that might be sort of cool. Okay. Oh my gosh, do I do that? That would cost me three coins. Oh, I only have two. I can't do it. Okay, uh, next one is a fishing village. Uh, just a straight line, uh, either village or water. Mm -hmm. Village or water. So I can get that water for two points there. Yeah, I'll do that. And I've closed off a mountain, so I get a coin. Oh, no villages showed up yet. I always like how your sheet looks at the end. Like <laughs> Tetris board. I like coloring. Yeah. I like these pencils. <laughs> oh, what shape is that? Yeah, uh, just a straight line. Uh, Borgian Feast. Four. Yeah. Four uh, squares. Four square. So we have two, four, five, six so far. So we have a little more time in spring. Well, that's the ambush cards. Okay, the next one out is the Hinterland Stream, two, four, six, eight. So this will be the last one of the round. Uh, this is um, farmland or water, and it's 
the like a T square thing. An L. The big L. Okay. Yep. So, so I'll go over here. If I do I don't know, do I want to do this? I want water because water gets you two points for everyone that's next to a mountain. Okay. Okay. My arms are so sore. Oh no. <laughs> Stretch it out. Okay. So we have one, two, four, six, eight. Springtime is over. Uh, now we go to scoring. Um, we score for letter A. You get two points for the water next to a mountain. It's got to be orthogonally adjacent. And you get one point for orthogonally adjacent farmland. Okay. And also, there were no villages, so we're not going to score these. Um, I don't think we pulled any villages that turn. Okay. And then. So, what was the scoring? Uh, if it's a water next to a mountain, two points. Okay. So, where do you put it? Uh, down here. Okay, so I got this one and uh, this one. Yep. Okay, so, so four that's points. Four. Yep. And then B, we didn't score because no villages showed up, so zero for everyone on that. And the number of coins, I have three. I have dos. And then no monsters, so zero for that. I have 11 total. Six. Cool. All right. So now we did not pull a uh, draw monster, so we add another monster. Spring is over. So we're doing B and C this time. This is the villages, the wild holds, and then the borderlands. Those are the rows or columns that are completely filled up. And we just shuffle these up. Wait, what was it? Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks again for joining us, folks. It's fun. Good times on a Saturday night. Thank you for joining us on our date. <laughs> <laughs> our date night. Okay, so let's start summertime. Summertime. When it is easy. easy. Uh oh. Do, do. <laughs> do, 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 do. Copyright, copyright. Copyright. <laughs> okay, here we go. So let's start with the first one is a farmland. So this is farmland, and if you put the little. Two by one, it's a coin, or you get the, the cross. Ooh. Board Game Feast, thanks for hosting. Been looking for a more excuse lately. Yeah, love this game. So there's your farmland, folks. Let's draw that on there. Um, we are not scoring um, A, unfortunately, just B and C. But I love those coins. What is... Okay, so C is six in a row. Hmm. Either horizontally or vertically? No, it's the entire row. You get six The points. entire... Oh, yeah. like from top to bottom? Yeah. You know, I totally forgot to use this last turn. During the draw phase, draw an, addi or draw an additional one by one square adjacent to the drawn shape. Fill it the same terrain type. So you could do that for free. So I forgot to do it. Oh, I... <laughs> I looked at it and just kind of glazed over. Okay. So... Where's hmm. our card? Oh, this one here. Oh. So yes, I want that one, and then I'm going to use that search power. So this is farmland. Turn this around, because that little groove in there is messing up my town. Coin score to right. Yes, tabletop's uh, one point per coin. And let me just throw these here. This is the expansion we're playing with as well. You may do this once per round for free. This one once per round, you must uh, pay one coin. And you can also do this one once per round, but you have to pay three coins. Okay. Mini expansion. Okay. Oh, I've got a coin for that one. I, I did the small. I got one, one column. Nice. Okay. Next one is marshlands. Wow, no monsters yet. Uh, so uh, forest or water, and then it's that T, like sideways T shape. And again, don't forget, you can rotate okay. um, as necessary. That's and, what I and, was going to yeah, ask. And flip. Hmm. 
No, we haven't had any villages, so. Yeah, no villages that one at all. Kind of sucks. Yeah. Bad, okay. bad draw. Do, 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 do. So I'll do this one this way. Um. I think I will do this. What is it? It's water or... Water or forest. Or forest. Maybe I'll do the forest. Oh, my first erase. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go down here. I have a student. Well, he's not my student anymore, but he would never want to use um, pencil for math. And he's like, all my other teachers told me I could use pen. And I was like, I guarantee you that's a lie. <laughs> no teacher will tell you to use pen for math. Okay, so I've done forest. Uh, the next card out is... I thought there was the option, option of, of villages. villages last round. Did I cheat? Oh, maybe there was. Honestly, I I didn't use it, so maybe there was. Uh, sorry, folks, if I uh, got that wrong. You were probably right, Board Game Piece. You're, you're good. Uh, Great River. It's um, a river or water. And we did this one last round as well. Is that squiggly thing or the uh, straight line for a coin? Oh, okay. Tabletops confirms. There was village, but only four squares. You need six to score. Thank you. Okay, so I am going to use... That one, and I get a coin. Hmm. <coughs> I will use this for a coin. Do, 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 do. And then, uh, for me, I'm going to spend three coins to concentrate. So it's not an ambush card. Uh, draw this chosen shape, shape a second time. Fill it with the same terrain type, which I'm going to do right now. And i got to spend three coins. One, two, three. So those don't score. End of the round. So straight line in the water. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Five v zero. Oh, nice. Yeah, good call. Um, board game feast. Y'all are much better at this game than uh, I am. Uh, let's see. The next one is Forgotten Forest. So, three, four, five. Okay, we're going up to eight this turn. So, we've got so not my. This is a forest, which you can't really see here. Um, but it is this one for a coin or the Tetris style shape there. Hmm. Okay. I'll do forest. I mean, uh, not forest. It is forest, but I'll do the Z. Tetris Z. And we are at one, three, four, five. So we're still safe, folks. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one out. It is the fishing village again. Oh, did I shuffle these? <laughs> Uh, straight line, there's the village or the water. Okay, so I'm going to do the village. One, two, three, four. So we've got village people in Brunoville. Hmm. What is the village for? Villages for each okay, cluster. Do, 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 do. Fishing village folks, so we are at two, three, four, five, six, <coughs> excuse me, seven. So it looks like this may be our last card. Good? Mm hmm. And is the Hinterland Stream. This will be the last card of the round. Farm or water with that big uh, L? The big L. The big L. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So I'm gonna put this way, I think. Yep. And farmland or water. Oh, that doesn't do any good though there, right there. Hmm. Well, I gotta do it. One, two, three, four. And what is it? Water or it doesn't move. I'm gonna get uh, farmland. You know what I want to try? <laughs> Those hot chocolate bombs. <coughs> oh yeah. They're they're like really fancy, like I don't know, just like balls of chocolate, and then like there's like marshmallows inside. So when you pour milk on it, like hot milk on it, and it melts, and you have hot chocolate. I think we need to go buy some. <laughs> yeah, I'll try that. Uh, so let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So the end of summer. Um, so we will be scoring now, friends. We're scoring B and C. So uh, wild holds, uh, wild holds for B. I have oh. zero because you what need is uh, at least six villages all together to get eight points. Oh, uh, so. I just yeah. We just had that one card with the villages. Yeah. Okay. So zero for me, but I'm sure someone out there. Oh, I guess I should be writing that in here. Okay. Oh, board game piece says check out board game bakes. She just made dice versions. That really? sounds so cool. Wow. Okay, so, you know, when this pandemic is over <laughs> and we get together, yeah. these these are things that we need. Agreed. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is not a want. It's a need. Yeah. Okay, like, same. Okay, so for B. Okay, so yeah, I got zero, zero on B. Okay, so C, this is Borderlands. Borderlands, if you have a complete row or column, or row or column, you'll get six points per. Woohoo! I, I have two completed rows for 12. I have two completed columns. Or two com yeah, that was me too. Columns, not rows. My bad. So six points per for 12. Uh, I've spent three of my coins, but I have two left over for two points. So I count them again because I didn't spend them? Yep. And then there have been no monsters, luckily, so zero for that. I have a total of 14. Fitting. 15 from Shell. Quince. Quince. Okay, so we got to put another monster in here for the ambush. Uh, we are going to fall. We are scoring C and D. Uh, C is the Borderlands again, and D is the Sentinel Wood. So gain one star for each forest space adjacent to the edge of the map. Forest. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> oh. So my, my columns were on the left and right edges of, the, <laughs> of Brunoville. <laughs> Okay, but I, I have a Give couple us a good of... shuffle here, folks. Yeah, yeah, shuffle those well. Yeah, I, well, we now have three monsters in here, so we could be getting ambushes, so. Oh, that's Yeah, here we go. Hydrate. Thanks, Dead Last, oh, again. Yes. We will hydrate. Oops. Sorry, Bruno. <laughs> okay, oops, I just spilled water there. Ah, okay. This is fun. I like the whole Sorry, snacking boy. and then playing games. Well, this is normal life. Yeah, <laughs> this is our normal <laughs> life, basically. Okay, so here we are on fall. We are doing letters C and D. The first card out is the marshlands. Uh, so that's forest, and then this is water in that little T shape. So, C and D. What's it, blue and green? Yeah. Okay, so T shape. Mm -hmm. And we're looking for some of that. That forest, okay. Um, this one has forest or water. Okay, so forest run, forest run. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to... Forest, forest. And I'm going to use that other special power, the search power. Yep. I should just be using it every time, every, and I am not. Yeah, use it once per round. So you've used it for ah, this round. okay. Yeah. And that is a one by one. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, actually, does it have to be adjacent? Oh, it has to be adjacent to the drawn shape. Um, hmm. We don't yeah, have I'll a do lot it. going on in the middle of Brunoville. Yeah. It's all on the outskirts. Same here. <laughs> i got this forest protecting my uh, people here. 
Actually, I'm going to save that. I'm not going to use it just yet. I don't know. I feel like one part of Brunoville is by the beach, and the other other side is not. Yeah, Michelle's is... This is what Michelle's got going on here on hers. (laughs) Got the beach, on that border, some villages, a little forest there. Nice, nice. lake on the other side. (laughs) (laughs) This is a resort. Brunoville is a resort. (laughs) Hey, farmland. Farmland with either an X or the cross or the two with a coin if you use that. Oh. I'm going to do that because I get a double coin because I fill this up. I'm going to use that up here. Is that farmland? It is farmland. So I got one coin because I did the shape and I get another coin because I surrounded a mountain. Hey folks, you know what would be cool if uh, after we're done with the game, if you want to tweet at me or just tweet and like um, tag me in it, I'd love to see what your final maps look like and I'll, I'll tweet out um, ours as well. So we have three, we're going to seven for the fall. Let's go to the next card. Hey, the Riftlands, we have not seen oh. this one. This one causes no time to um, move, so it's one by one of anything. So you can either put um, forest, village, farm, water or a monster why would you want to put a monster oh because then wouldn't you have to draw it no don't we pass it on no that's monsters? only for ambush cards oh so i think it's just to fill up a space basically oh gotcha yeah okay so that's just one little square huh yeah okay. what are we we're scoring c and d so we need complete rows or columns so I'm I'm gonna, oh, I want the forest then. Mm-hmm, that's what I did. Nice. Okay. I gotta hydrate again. I'm thirsty. All those snacks. <laughs> no, you're not cleansing your palate. <laughs> okay. You're like, you know, gargle a little bit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Swish it around. And, uh, we're you at need three. need a spittoon. <laughs> Let's continue. Hey, a hamlet. There's a village. A little too too little too late. Uh, this is a hamlet. It's a village with this little small L with a coin. Or you can do that crazy Tetris shape there. I'll leave it up for a bit. So I could fill this up perfectly, but it'd be a village. Ooh. But I'd sort of like to fill that up. That would be nice. If you build it, they will come. Nice. Daryl Begaman is here. Daryl Begaman in the house. <laughs> Daryl, thanks for joining us. And Daryl says, uh, yeah, here late, but me, yeah. It's our bears with, oh man, I'm glad I made it back, even if it's for the last round, yeah. You can always watch this on demand, folks, and uh, play play again by yourselves. No no reason why you couldn't. Um, I think, do I want to concentrate and do, no, I don't, because the villages don't score anything. But I will fill up this spot here. How far are we in? We got two. This is four. So we're halfway through this round, probably. Okay, so. So I'll do this here. Since we're still scoring C, mm-hmm. so I can still count the last two columns that I filled up. Correct. On this round, okay. Yeah. Okay, I've drawn my Hamlet. Everyone drawn their Hamlets. Glad I saved my search. What is yeah. a Hamlet? Like a little uh, village type thing, I guess. Um, what was the, oh the search? Yeah, I didn't use my search either. I used mine. No, I did. What am I talking about? I didn't. No, no, I didn't. That was for the other that small one. I'm gonna save my search. Okay. Next one. Oh, ruins. Okay, so ruins, folks. This comes out. The next card that we draw, you must draw part of it on a ruin in your map. Has to cover at least one. Okay. Um, Sir Bearsworth, I think Hamlet sell burgers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hamburger Hamlet. Right? Okay, here we go. Uh, Gerald, we gave me any good snacks uh, in the foodie box. Yeah, Gerald, we liked. There is a um, cookie that a was polveron. polveron with anise. It was a shortbread cookie yeah, with short- anise. Yeah. And then the truffles were good. Yeah. But Abby won't be my friend if I give them to her. <laughs> <laughs> and collect the camels in the house. Hello, Hamel. Uh, what? Someone rent? Yeah, we, we were calling for you, my friend, and you showed up. Uh, so, oh, 
So the force, the ruins, we're going to have to wait a card because we have our first ambush. Friends, Cobalt uh, Onslaught. So Michelle and I will trade. We must write that figure. For those of you playing solo at home, you will start in the bottom left corner. Bottom left corner of your score sheet. And you go around uh, the edges until you can place this uh, shape without turning it around. And if you can't do that, then you go in one space, go around again, and keep going until you can place it. If you cannot place it, then I think you, you're off the hook. Or do you have to put a one by one? Do you have to turn it? Or can you turn it? Um, for solo game, no. Okay. Okay, if you cannot legally draw it, friends, then it's a one by one square anywhere with a monster t thing. Okay. Abby says she uh, misses you, Michelle. Oh, I miss her too. Okay, I'm going to put your monster. Let's see. Monster. Oh, but the monster has to be that shape. That shape, yeah. Okay. You can put it anywhere on your opponent's map. And remember, the monster, where you put it, uh, the spaces that are adjacent to the monster, minus one. Spaces adjacent to the monster are minus one. Yep. Okay. Oh, that kind of sucks. Huh? Yeah, it sucks for your opponent. Be nice. Let's put a monster right here. Can y'all hear Bruno snoring? He's still snoring away. Yeah, they said they could hear him earlier. <laughs> oh, Bruno. <laughs> Land of no candy corn. <laughs> Who would live there? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> yes, we have a really good microphone, Michelle. <laughs> Bruno's been following me around all day. <clears throat> Where's the monster? Over there? Mm -hmm. Oh, that actually helps me. That's really nice of you. So I need to lose one point. But I thought you said in all the adjacent spaces. Yeah, adjacent to the monster. So these are all filled. The ones that are empty are worth minus one. Oh, yeah. you didn't say that. <laughs> Here, erase. Yeah, do that over. Because that, that's way too nice. So adjacent spaces to the monster are worth negative one. So here you go, I'll give you this so you can draw another one. Oh, thank so you. this is negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> That's not nice. Yeah, they're monsters. Uh, Bruno snores like a bear's worth. <laughs> <laughs> slivers in the house. Hi, Slivers. Uh, Gabriel, family, hearts, and chat heart. Yes, agreed. We'll give you the hearts right there. Thank you, Slivers, as always. Um, hmm. <laughs> Great acoustics in here. <laughs> oh, wow. So that would be one, two, three. Okay, I think this is better than I guess. So, folks, again, the next card, because of the ruins card, we're going to have to place it on a ruin. Hey, MZ's raiding us. All right. We got a raid coming in, folks. And what that means is, whoop, we put the raiding hat, hat on, and it is the holiday um, edition. version <laughs> edition. Thank you, Michelle. Friends, thank you, MZ raids, uh, uh, MZ plays. Thank you so much for raiding us, Emma. I hope you're doing well. Best to Gaming Lannister. Friends, welcome. This is Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is my wife, Michelle. Hello. And our pug, Bruno, is uh, on the floor. He's snoring, so you may hear him. You won't see him, but you'll hear him. Uh, so this is the holiday edition of the Raid Me Hat. Yes. Uh, thank you for joining us, folks. <laughs> we are playing Cartographers uh, from Thunderworks Games. This is a, a fun little roll and write or flip and fill game. And um, we're in the third round of four. We're almost done here, but thanks for hanging out. Let's hang out. We had snacks earlier. We opened up a box of Universal Yums and did like this little taste testing, so it was a lot of fun. It's it's basically our date night, and uh, y'all are hanging out invited with us. Invited to our date. <laughs> yes, invited to our date, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you again for rating Emma. I hope you are doing well, friend. And whoop, let's get back to the game. Rating hat is off to Emma and all her friends. Thank you for joining us. Much appreciated. And um, we are into the next step here. So this one, oh, it's a second raid. Oh, my God. I mean, a second monster. Uh, we had this monster here, so that gets discarded from the game. 
we have another ambush, folks. The Null Raid. So for those of you at home, you're going to be starting on the upper left corner and going around trying to do that shape. Okay. Oh. What's that? I shouldn't have left all that empty space there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, boy. That's a nasty shape. Yeah, it is. I'll go like this. Okay, so monsters are coming up. Um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all, if you can hear Bruno's story. <laughs> uh, oh, what was the shape? Sorry. Uh, it is the shape here. I'll throw that there. There you go. Uh, Rainbow Finch, MZ, Analog Alerts are best. Thank you, MZ. All right. MZ, were y'all doing the marbles tonight? How was the marble uh, action tonight? Um, let's see. So I've done this. This is for Michelle's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Oh, that's awful. I know. These are <laughs> tough monsters. And speaking of analog alerts, folks, uh, for those of you, for the first time you're here, as uh, Emma's uh, said there, we do analog alerts here, like the rating hat. We also do stream snacks here. And tonight it was our date night, so we actually had a box of snacks that we were sampling and critiquing. But let us know in uh, chat what you're eating and or drinking while watching streams. That's that's what we do in stream snacks. Always a fun thing to talk about. And, you know, it's one of those things, don't watch our stream on an empty stomach. <laughs> You will get hungry. I use the force to get to the next scene. Whoop. You need to do your um, box of um, Global Delicious. Oh, next yeah, time. yeah. <laughs> Global Delicious will be making a comeback. Uh, Enzi's having a little beer. Yay. And I'm going to grab my sushi. Oh, sushi and beer. What's up? That sounds delish. Folks, we have another monster. Oh, no. Look at this, folks. Our third monster in a row the goblin attack. So, this is where they're all saved up. Uh, for the friends at home, this is, you start at the bottom right corner and go around. Starting from the bottom, now you're here. We start from the bottom, now we're here, as Drake would say. Boy, oh boy, this is no good. I'm going to go like this. This is totally helping you. So if you can't place it, then what happens? If you cannot place that shape anywhere, then you just put a one by uh, one square somewhere with the monster. Oh, <laughs> Bruno is really oh. saw some logs today. <laughs> he is snoring. Oh. Yeah, big negative so points coming on. Boy. Ooh, MZ's got brie and cheese as well. That's always good. MU Jedi, thanks for hanging out. Got cereal. I don't know what time your time zone is, but cereal right now it'd be it's our dinner. It would be our dinner time, but I love breakfast for cereal. Good call. Cereal for breakfast. Or cereal for uh, dinner. Breakfast for dinner. I love breakfast for dinner. The monsters are like most of my ruins. Yeah. I got a bunch on there, too. Zero can work at all times. This so true. true. So true. All right. Let's see if we can not draw a monster this time, Ruel. We will see. <laughs> it is not a monster. But remember, this is... We draw a, We had a ruins card, so this one must go on a ruins. It is the Great River. So water, it can be that shape or that shape. You get a coin if you do the long line. Must be on a ruin. Oh, okay. Must be on a ruin. Yep. Okay, that's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, same. Uh, Bruno. So if I do... Two, three. And I get a coin. I get confused where the card is. Okay. Oh. And if there's no legal ruins left, um, you automatically lose. No, I'm just kidding. Um... <laughs> Then you get to eat all the snacks. <laughs> you must draw a one by one square anywhere on your map and with any uh, terrain type. So is that kind of like the default then? To Pretty just much. Draw the yeah, just one the by one. one by one. Yeah. So I am going to finally use my concentrate power for this round. I spend three, one, two, three, and I can duplicate that water one. Which I want oh, to do right that's here. what I wanted to do. Yes. Water, water, water. Okay, so that's my one power for this round, and then you're doing the same thing for three coins. Well, I'm, no, I'm... Oh, the search. search. Okay, cool, cool. Although... 
No, I'm... Three, four, five. Okay, so we're at five okay. right now. Uh, fall is seven, so we got at least one card ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the final card. Is the Hinterland Stream again. Uh, farmland or water in that big L. Uh-oh. Farmland or water. How many? It was three by three. Three by three, yeah. Okay, I can fit it here. And what is it? Farmland or water? I got a lot of water on my map. Mine is a beach city. <laughs> yeah, my, my city's been flooded. <laughs> MZ, thank you again for the raid. Much appreciated. Uh, I've covered this so I get a um, coin. Are y'all playing Tragic the Gathering? Uh, yeah, this is like a donkey punch. <laughs> it is like Tragic the Gathering, right? Uh, of course, thank you all for your raids. No worries. We raid each other, friends. Um, so that is that. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is the end of fall, folks. So we are going to be scoring C and D. It is the Borderlands and the Sentinel Wood. Okay. Uh, these go away, or these get shuffled back in. And then we draw another ambush card, which is this one. Yes. Wait, do I discard? What are these discards here? These are... Oh, that's for that. Okay. So, final six. ambush card goes in here. Uh, I'll shuffle that after I score. Six. Oh, Borderlands. Oh, my gosh. So, one, two... I don't think that's... That's all I did. Darn it. So, I have six times four. That's 24. You woke up, Bruno. <laughs> Sorry, Bruno. <laughs> He's, like, looking around. What's happening? Sentinel <clears throat> Wood is one point for every four space that's adjacent to the edge of the map. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. And coins, you just score them again. Oh, this one's one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> okay, now the negative points. Oh, no. So these are all the... Um... Blank spaces next to the monsters? Yeah, let me verify that. Uh, monster. Minus one each space adjacent to a monster. And yes, it's not diagonal, but it's orthogonal, but still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve. Six, seven, eight. Oh, no, thirteen. Ugh, minus thirteen, folks. Nine. Eleven. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, brutal. Fourteen. Negative points, folks. Oh. Board Game Feast got negative twelve. I got negative thirteen. How'd you do? Oh, my God. Negative fourteen? Yeah. Oh, negative fourteen for Michelle. Uh, I'm going to... So, we are going to winter, folks. Winter is coming. Actually, winter has showed up. It is six it's points so only for this round. And we're doing... Going back to A and also D. So four spaces and then water and or farm next to a mountain. And this will be it. There is one final monster in the deck. Good luck to everybody. Thanks again for hanging out, folks. This is Tabletop Tonight, a special Saturday night stream and game. Um, wait, stream game snack. And game and Grub. That's what we're calling it. I was thinking, what do you think of, instead of Game and Grub, like Saturday night snack stream or something like that. I, I'm all about alliteration, but... Wherever there's food, it's all right. It's I don't all, care it's what you got it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, MZ says, whoop, whoop, Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> Wild Saturday night here in, uh, in the game library. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go uh, move along here. Uh, the next, Oh, right off the bat, it's a bugbear assault. So, uh, folks at home, you're going to start at the top right corner, go around and place. Uh, you'll notice it's two two by ones with a space in the middle between them so i don't know if, we, oh. if you'll be able to fit that i will be I able can to fit. do it yeah i can do it too so i'm gonna put it here okay so we're gonna go right here monster and right here a monster here and then monster here oh i just helped you out actually Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Those monsters are brutal this team. Bruno's like, what's happening? He's still like, you know, he doesn't have his wits about him. Sushi Saturday for Emma, nice. Always a good Saturday with sushi. Okay, so that's the final one there. Now we go on to the next card. It's an orchard, folks. It is a farmland or a forest uh, in the L shape. Um, wait, forest. 
interest in the L shape. Okay. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. Are we, we're not scoring forest anymore. We're, oh, yeah, we are scoring forest. Okay, so we do want one at the edge. Living on the edge. Don't push okay. me because I'm close to the edge. edge. I'm trying okay. not to lose my head. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so one more time. Keep from going under. Okay. Forest, forest. Okay. So that's forest or farmland in the L shape. That's two. So we're going only to six this time, folks. Uh, the Riftlands. This is zero. So any um, one you want in a one by one gr uh, square, just one square. So that's a good way to fill up those uh, things next to a monster. Just saying. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm going to put water because it's next to a mountain, which will be two points. Plus, I get a coin. What up? Oh, that's right. We can use these cool things. Yeah. Okay, during the draw, two by two instead of one avail instead of one of the available shapes. Is a two by two gonna help me though? Sir Bears were Saturday throwback Saturday snacks and tracks. Hey. Ah. Hell yeah. Daryl will be gaming. Okay. I'm gonna tell you though, that sushi sounds good right now. Okay. Maybe Good. next Saturday. Wait, yeah. hold it up. Hold yeah, maybe, up. Maybe next Saturday. We'll see. Okay, so just one anywhere, huh? Yep. God, should I do it here? Or here? <laughs> There's so many possibilities. I know. Um, you know what? I'm just going to put it here. I don't okay. Know. I don't know if that's the Maybe. best choice, but we'll find out at the end. We will find out. So that's zero. So we're still at two. Okay, next one. It's uh, ruins, folks. So your next shape you must place on a ruin. Okay, and it is a farmland, so it's either a, it's just farm in one of those two shapes. I can't even put the cross one anymore. So and it has to be on on the ruin. ruin you yes. Said. Okay. And I don't have any ruins that I can put it on, so I just get a one by one anywhere. Um. Ooh, excuse me. I will put it. Here. Oh wait, actually, I can. I can do it right here. Yeah, it's perfect. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So I do the farmland here. It's on a ruin. I get a coin because I use that shape. And then I get another coin because I covered the mountain. Or I surrounded the mountain. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Next Saturday, you guys got to get that sushi. Oh, Emma, that sounds good. Maybe do a sushi uh, sushi the Saturday next week. So we got three points here. Marshlands is for another five. So this okay. next to last card. We have forests and we have water in that T shape. So green or blue. And I cannot mm -hmm. fit it anywhere, darn it. Ugh. Man, oh man. That's a bummer. So it's... T oh, man. Yep. So I'll put it right here just so I can fill up. So then you just use one. You can do one by one. Yeah. But can you also use your search? If you do the one by one? Uh, during the drawn adjacent to the drawn shape. It has to be that drawn shape oh. to use the search, yeah. So I can only do a one by sushi one. Sushi and sushi go or too much? No, that's that's actually worth thinking about, Emma. Uh, Michelle and I were actually talking about this. We want to make this a regular thing. If y'all enjoy it, um, we want to do snacks and gaming once a week where we just sample snacks, talk about them, and then play a game. Okay, so that's that card. I really don't know if this is benefiting two, three, four, me. Four, five. Okay. So it's five points so far. Uh, Emma says, love stacks and love games, so I'm in. All right. <laughs> right on, Emma. Thank you. Some favorite things. Yep. So this is the final card of the round and the final card of the game. A Forgotten mm -hmm. Forest. It is a forest piece in the Z or this one with the coin. So if I do... No, that's not going to work. Yeah, I'll put this one here. So I can at least get a point and a coin. I will do this. It's for Bear's Worth. James says, Gabriella date night was fun. Thanks, uh, James. Thanks for chaperoning. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks for chaperoning. Uh, if you want to make the board gamers squeamish, do board games in hot ways. <laughs> what? If you want to make the board gamers squeamish, do board games in hot ways. <laughs> <laughs> or Cheetos, right? <laughs> now that's living on the edge, folks. Uh, so that's the final card of the game. Two, three, four, five. Oh, no, wait. 
two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, it is six for winter. So now we've scored D and A. So we'll go with uh, D first is Sentinel. Any forest spaces on the edge of the map, one point each. Sixteen, seventeen, and then letter A is the Mages Valley. This is water spaces adjacent to mountains are two points. Farm spaces adjacent to mountains are one point. What did you say? Uh, water next to a mountain two points. Okay. Farm next to a mountain one point. So that's two. Gosh darn it, I don't have one farm next to a mountain. <laughs> okay, so I got 17 for that. I got a big whopping eight. Okay, and then we do the thing, final thing here is count up the coins that you have. One, two, three, four. Seven. And finally, minus one point for empty spots next to a monster. Oi, minus 12 this time for me. 10. Well, this was actually my best round. 34. Bless you, Bruno. Okay. So 39 total for that round for me. Much better. <laughs> Mine got worse. I got 12. Uh-oh. This has not been my finest moment. Me neither. This has been a, this was a tough draw. This was a tough okay. draw. Let's see, how do y'all do, do it tonight? Let's see, if you also uh, tweet out your um, scorecards, uh, tweet at me, uh, include me on your tweet. I'd love to see your uh, the pictures of your maps. Um, I have played No Candy Corn Land. I have scored 86 points tonight. What? Board Game Feast got 76, well done. Uh, good night, James, thanks for joining us. Much appreciated. Uh, if you want to make a night, James. Oops, I thought Borderlands was D. Whoops. Yeah, Borderlands was C. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven for Michelle. Bruno Bill got a fifty-seven. Sorry, Bruno. He's like, yeah, I learned my name. <laughs> uh, MZ plays. Uh, when are we gonna play Game Jedi, folks? That is it. We are done. That was Cartographers. I've scored eighty-six. Michelle has fifty-seven. Fifty-seven today. So the No Candy Corn Land has ruled the realm tonight. Uh, <laughs> use the Force. Whoop. <laughs> We were too busy eating our candy. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's too much candy tonight. Uh, Tabletops, I'm going with it because I scored last round. No, no worries. Want to read, uh, 78. Nice job, Randall Finch. Um, let us know. Let, let's uh, tweet those. If you're on Twitter, please tweet at me, Ruel Gaviola, at, uh, on Twitter and or Twitch. Oh, obviously Twitch. But uh, I'd love to see your scorecards. I'll post uh, mine and Michelle's as well. And uh, MC Plus says, candy for the win. Yes, no candy corn land has won the game. This has been Tabletop Tonight, folks. I want to thank Emma and all you Raiders as well uh, for the uh, late join there. Much appreciated. Thanks for sticking around. I want to thank everyone in chat, especially those of you who started uh, at the beginning tonight. <laughs> really appreciate it. We've had a lot of fun uh, eating our snacks and sharing our feelings on them and also playing a game with y'all. This has been a lot of fun. Rainbow Finch says, My mountains were surrounded by water. LOL. So much water. Yes, same here. <laughs> Next guys end up with 111 with an asterisk. Wow. Well done. Hey, with an, I'll take it with an asterisk any night. So let's, uh, I'm going to raid, let's see if anyone's around and we'll raid them. Uh, if not, um, oh well, it's all good. Have a great weekend, everybody. Any final thoughts from you for, as far as tonight? I mean, this is fun. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed the snacking, the the yum box. It was mostly yum, which is good. Nothing was yeah. yum. Like, I didn't, there was like maybe one or two, whatever, but it wasn't like, eh, you know. Yeah, it wasn't like it, it was going to make me throw up or yeah. anything. <laughs> it was just too salty. That, yeah, that's always a good thing. Don't throw up on the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks again, folks. Hey, we've got Emmy Jedi. Thank you for subscribing with Prime. Much alert. Uh, much alert. Much uh, appreciated. We do the analog alert show, so alert, alert, folks. We have a new subscription. That is MU Jedi. Thank you for your support, friend. Much appreciated. Yes, yeah. much alert, too. Round of applause from Michelle to you. Thank you. 
so much. Rainbow Fitch, today has been a bad day. This Oh, uh, Rainbow oh. Fitch, I'm glad we could help you out there. Much appreciated. Oh. We always uh, thank you for joining us. So, friends, that's it tonight. Hang out for the raid if we do one. Have a great day. Have a great night. And we'll be back on Monday, uh, 7 p.m. for another great game. Thanks, everybody. Bye now. Bye.